Coach, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. A pleasure. But listen, it's been a crazy time up in Syracuse now. So with all that said, you got to figure, hey, thank goodness we got we finally got the basketball season. Right, right. We're, we're a little less than a month away from our first game, and that's really what we're focused on. We're going to play Mammoth November 10th. Our girls are really practicing hard, working hard, and uh, we're excited about the season. Vaughn, when you become the acting head coach and, and all the things you discussed with John Wildhack about – putting this team back on the floor. Then there's the part that you were there. You're part of that program. You you understand the, the roster movement and things like that. What's kind of the first message to move the program forward, keep this season moving forward, not having people spend so much time talking about what happened in the last few months or last year or so? Right. Well, this process really – uh, allowed me to just be able to focus on what's important, and that's the players. It just really just try to simplify it. And I wake up every day just trying to figure out how can I best serve right. the players, and I just try to keep it as simple as possible. The basketball is what it's going to be and everything, and these girls are, are excited about the season. We're looking forward to pushing on. You know, I saw the 10 or the first 14 are at home. You at least get a chance to get acclimated by going, <laughs> okay, let's get fans back in. Let's go get and let's really roll up our sleeves and get to work and try to establish the foundation. Yeah, yeah. We're really excited about having a lot of home games. and Our, our, our girls are really excited about that, to be able to play in the Dome. And uh, we're pushing forward. Uh, we, we, we do have a, a front-loaded schedule with the home teams and everything. But, you know, I think it's going to be good for us to be able to try to get acclimated. I think the most important thing for us is building chemistry, so we'll be allowed to do that. That part comes on the heels of what had to be and we were talking with Buddy Beheim and Baroma Sidibe yesterday about it the weirdest year ever no fans very plastic sterile environment in a place that has rides so much on emotion to have it just be empty was such a weird scene wasn't it yeah it was tough you know the probably the toughest thing is not seeing the student athletes be able to be student athletes you mm -hmm. know they're stuck in their rooms you know there are no fans and that's you know that's what they live for to be able to play in front of fans and and so that made it a kind of a tough season but we're looking forward this season to be able to play in front of fans uh, we have talked about transfer portal now for two consecutive days with all the men's yesterday you guys today uh, there probably hasn't been a crazier transfer portal world than Syracuse yeah. uh, during this whole process. H again, I, I just we're kind of curious how you juggle all the balls trying to figure out who's in, who's out. Well, it's, it's kind of it's kind of tough. It's a little bit different. I think the one thing with the transfer portal this this particular season, we had what we call super seniors. We had five seniors that played for at Syracuse for four years, and they made a decision to go somewhere else. And so, and then you had we had some other players that decided to leave. But I think that this is going to be the nature of the game moving forward. We had over 1,100 transfers in women's basketball. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be very common, like it was this season, to see seven, eight players leave. And so, you have to be prepared for that. Vaughn, uh, Priscilla Williams is, a, is somebody that comes back to help you. Uh, at moments a year ago, impactful player in the ACC. Is that the kind of player you need to kind of formulate this team to be successful? Yeah, Priscilla's one of our returners. Uh, she had a really good freshman campaign yeah. for us before it was cut short. Uh, she had, a, you know, some really big games for us. In one game against Miami, she had 26 points. She went 9 for 9 from the field and 6 for 6 for the three-point line. So she mm -hmm. played a perfect game offensively. Most players try to make their jump between their freshman and sophomore seasons, and so we expect Priscilla to be able to do that. As far as the league is concerned, where do you think Syracuse fits in this uh, big picture? Yeah, I'm not into the prediction business, you know, Me from neither. that standpoint. So what yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so what do we, think? we got a we got a lot of new pieces, but we got a yeah. lot of a lot of a lot of great players that came in. We got a lot of players, you know, six of our seven transfers come from Power Five schools. You know, all seven of our transfers have been starters in their career. So we're excited about the players that we have. So our, our goal is to try to blend all of that together mm. as quickly as possible. How, in the chemistry world of building basketball teams, and you mentioned everybody from a, from a power five base, potential starters at every time you turn. So in the early stages of your full team workouts, what's been the challenge then? Have you do the checks and balances? Do you put different combinations together? Do you still sort through some of that at this point? Yeah, we're still working uh, the, the players in and out. We're switching a lot of groups around, trying to see what we have. Uh, we're not going to be a very tall team, but we're going to be very fast, uh, yeah. and we're, and we're going to use our conditioning to be able to press and run. You know, we loved having Tiana on the show multiple times. It's an incredible story. And we've even talked about, man, it's, it wouldn't it be great to have her jersey up in the rafters? Well, guess what? We'll get to Tiana, but there is going to be a, a jersey celebration. 
as far as women's basketball at the Dome. Ah, There's got to be an incredible opportunity from a sales standpoint in terms of what you can recruit to say, guess what, it's important at Syracuse. Right, yeah, we're going to retire a Felicia Leggett Jacks uh, jersey November 10th. Uh, we're really excited about doing that. Uh, it's very well deserved. Uh, we're going to be there November 10th to celebrate her. And then, like I said, we've got other players, other players that I've coached. I've coached Tiana. I've coached Kayla. Uh, I've coached uh, Brittany Sykes and, yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, a lot of other uh, great players. And so they're going to be able to have their jerseys put up there someday as well. It's, uh, it, it is a fascinating tradition uh, of success. Tiana's legacy carries over in so many different areas. Um, but I also go back to, to what you're having to do here, building forward. It's easy to build off something that's occurred. In the, in the change here, how much of this is psychology? How much of this is X's and O's for this I, team? I think it's uh, about players. You know, it's about having good Jimmy's basketball players. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I think it's about having good players, and we have that. And so I'm very confident in the players that we have. We have a, a player, Chris Carr, mm. who averaged 18 points a game in her freshman season. You know, we have Chrissy Carr, who averaged 15 points last season. And so I feel very good about the players that we have on our roster. Uh, it's, it's just how fast can we bring it together. Did you find out if the Bayheims had a daughter that could shoot? I mean, it just seems like <laughs> every Syracuse roster has got a Bayheim or two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they uh, buddy and those and those, they they can definitely shoot the basketball. Well, we got some kids that can shoot the ball too as well. That's going to be one of our strengths. How do you handle Chrislin and Christiana? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Both last name Carr, not related. Right? Yeah, it's tough. It's very tough, and they they get on me about that. They get on <laughs> me about that, and we've got some other names that I'm trying to adjust to as well, <laughs> Alasia and Elena, and I get those two mixed up very as well. So <laughs> sounds like you've been in our practice a little bit no, there because I just, uh, <laughs> I, you do a few games, you can imagine where that goes. Absolutely. You just got to go NASCAR style, Coach. A five, eleven. That's right. You know, I mean, That's you just right. give them number, <laughs> the and they don't know who they're talking yeah, about. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what what is something we need to know about you? Because there are going to be a lot of folks who watch ACC Women's Basketball and go, man, what's going on? Syracuse got a new guy running the show. What, what, what do they need to know about you? Um, you know, I'm pretty simple. You know, I'm just – I'm a basketball junkie. You know, I love the game. Uh, you know, I, I love uh, love coaching. Uh, I made a decision early on in my career to coach women, and that's what, I, that's what I've been doing. I was in the NBA for a while and, yeah. uh, you know, WNBA, and I've kind of found my niche in college basketball. So, uh, my, my job, again, is just to try to take care of the young ladies here. All right. That, you didn't answer the question. <laughs> you, 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 favorite TV show? Favorite law and order, for sure. Favorite place to visit? Um, favorite place to visit Florida because it's hot. Because it's hot. Yeah. I mean, you'll see Miami and Florida State. You'll see Absolutely. how hot that gets Absolutely. when you get down there and see what that's going on. Uh, best place to uh, grab dinner in Syracuse? Uh, dinosaur Barbecue. Uh, you're my man. Oh, they you're got my man. Wings. They got good wings. They got good wings. You are my guy. <laughs> well, we're going to connect with that Absolutely. Now. I knew you'd come back to barbecue. Absolutely. Well, there you go. I like it. I don't know you guys like barbecue. That's why I hear you show. You guys talk about it all the time. Well, you know, Coach, uh, if you knew you were coming by, I mean, we're sitting here working. You could have <laughs> you could have really brought it, you know, some ribs. It's That's not true. like we wouldn't eat that for breakfast. That's true. That's yeah. true. <laughs>